my channel. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a great day. It is Thursday. I cannot wait for the weekend. Coming to you guys real quick with like, I guess, an unboxing. I always see these and they seem so much fun. And it really truly is an unboxing because I haven't opened the box since I purchased the items. So I went on holiday to Hawaii for my 30th birthday. Yay me, I'm 30. <laughs> And I couldn't resist to do some shopping. Um, I'm not crazy about designer items or like buying a lot of them. They cost a lot of money and I can never like bring myself to buying a lot at one time. I didn't purchase a lot. I purchased one item, honestly, well, two. But if you've been to Hawaii, you already know a little secret that they don't scream it out, but shopping designer, it's definitely the place to do it in Hawaii. Everything else is gonna cost you a lot of money. Um, they will nickel and dime you for everything. It is beautiful, but where you save money, if you have any interest, is in the designer shopping or any kind of shopping, because they have lower sales tax. Almost half of the sales tax that we most um, states or the mainland is what they call the rest of the United States um, do you have and you also save they said about 10% so I've done the calculation and I would tell y'all where and how I saved money I wish I had more money to splurge on this items because I would have bought a whole lot more because I saved a few hundred on each item so that was that felt really good um, but I'm gonna start with a gift that I was given on my birthday while I was out there I wore this purse twice when I was out there. Absolutely beautiful. But this is a YSL. Um, I already unboxed it and the box didn't make it to Hawaii anyways. But I got offered um, a new YSL purse. Absolutely gorgeous. I actually wore this on my birthday. I tried to insert some clips. It was so perfect with my outfit. It's like mind reading, right? And I love gifts like this because I normally will not purchase this to myself. I'm pretty boring um, in my purchases. You will not catch me. Look at this beauty. You will not catch me purchasing a leopard print purse, okay? In any any designer, just because I'm just a black nude type of girl. I think I own one red purse and my friend like convinced me to purchasing it, which is a great idea. But this is such a beautiful evening bag. I hope I haven't ruined it already. I always tell myself, why do I buy expensive things? I feel like I don't keep things well. I don't hold them well. And in my mind, I'm taking good care of them, but I always end up seeing something on them. Like this YSL bag that I bought um, in a white color. And the first night I had stains on it, but it's white, uh, but it comes off. But it's this beautiful evening bag, or this evening clutch. Um, with a dangling tassel right here. Absolutely love this color. This was such a thoughtful gift because I will not buy this for myself and it goes with a lot. I've paired it twice already on holiday, so I already know that I will be able to pair it um, multiple times and it's quite a statement. And maybe I'll find myself buying more nude and brown items. I definitely do have some nude in my closet have a little bit of brown, but I see myself purchasing a lot more to go with this, which this is a color a perfect because it's black on here, but I'm just gonna be real quick, but it's a typical um, evening bag by um, Yves Saint Laurent. Um, it holds quite a bit. Um, it doesn't have any zippers, like most YSL bags that are of this shape. Looks a lot like um, this black, Gosh, what is it called? I feel like I should know the name of my purses, but I guess I don't have that many. <laughs> but it looks a lot like another one that I have that has a string and it also comes in this length, but I have mine that's a little bit shorter. I put a picture there so you guys know what I'm talking about. I think it's like one of the ones that a lot of girls start with with YSL, which I absolutely love. I love that bag. I wear it all the time. But this one is really gorgeous. A great evening bag. Really takes on a lot. I really like how long it is. And then um, obviously you have the clasp in here and I have my little authentication card. Love this bag. Very thoughtful gift. Very great gift for someone like myself. So that's that with the YSL. Um, and as always, um, just about every designer, even um, low low end designers like um, Michael Kors, the Kate Spade, if you want to call them low end, I think they give you a dust bag. I haven't bought a Michael Kors in a little while, but I think they give you a dust bag. So you always have that to really keep your back protected. So we're going to move on to the other items that I purchased um, and 
uh, I'm gonna give you some detail into what I pay for, what you would get it um, here in the US. Um, UK folks, you can do the same. Um, but yeah, so I I bought the Arna Gucci bags, so cute. They're absolutely cute. I own two Gucci's right now at the moment. I have the disco bag um, that I wear all the time. I just wore that tonight. And then I have a Marmonth as well. Um, the one that is Oh, Chef Messi. I don't even know what these things are called. <laughs> I'll put a picture. Um, and I don't wear that one more very often. I wear my Visco bag all the time. It's so soft. I feel like I don't have to be careful with it. You know, it's just the perfect size. But what do I have here? Anyways, I went in too much with these. I have here a belt. Nothing crazy. I just have a Gucci belt. Um, she obviously always this it's dust bag looks like so i tried this on in the store and i got them to add um two holes for me before i traveled and i think i'm gonna need a third so i bought the 85 length and this is a reversible gucci belt at first i was like you know i don't know if i'm that person that would want to wear you know this side of the gucci um i i, I just wanted to get the black one this one went for, I think it was um, five thirty, dollars uh, because it was reversible. And the one that was one-sided went for about four something, maybe four eighty. dollars um, I believe it was a $50 difference. So I was like, okay, I think I'm just going to get it. I was splurging anyways, and I was saving a little bit of money on the taxes, and I just justified it in my head, okay? And I'm like, oh, maybe one day I would be that person that would wear it on this side, but I'm probably gonna utilize it on the black side. So you've got the, the leather here, and then you've got the, um, the nylon, or I don't know, guys. Oh my God, I feel like such a, a fake designer type person. <laughs> But here's the belt. Do you know one thing I realized with these belts, though, that are really strange to me? Some of them are more shinier than others. When I was in the store, I was asking the store attendant. I said, I, I noticed some that are more brassy, and I actually wanted the brassy look. Um, I don't like the shiny gold. For some reason, in my mind, just feels like it's a fake belt, and I spend all this crazy money. But I know it's not fake, so it's all about what you know at the end of the day. Um, but... She was like, yeah, that's how they, they, they make them. I think it depends on the size. So this one, I believe is considered a small. I just cannot hang with the bigger Gucci um, belt. I honestly was just inspired because I was just buying my favorite Gucci item um, on this day. So I was like, you know what? I just want a belt to go with it. Hence why I bought this belt. I hope I actually wear it. I'm so strange and like... I don't want, to, I want the designer, so I don't want to seem like that person. <laughs> it's so strange, isn't it? Girl, own it, okay? You got the money and you bought it. But yeah, so I got this belt. I can't wait to wear it. Um, I know I'm going to be wearing it a lot on the way. So with this outfit today, I don't know why, how come I haven't cut this thing already? Oh, this is a sandy. This outfit today, I could have worn it right here. So normally it comes with one, two, three holes. And as you can maybe see the difference, I made them punch two holes here. I think I'm gonna need another one. At first, that's what I thought, that I might need one like, especially if I lose this five to 10 pounds that I want, I would want something a little tighter for when I have it up on the waist. But for example, today I could have worn it right here. I'm gonna reverse it. Typical reversible belts. You just usually click and it does its thing. Let's see. So just typical reversible belt there. Um, then I've got it on the black side. I could have worn this today. Right here. It's so cute. So cute actually. It really is cute. So I could have worn that right there. I'm just gonna take a pic in the mirror here. It's cute, it's nice, you know. It's got a thing going on here. I got the length um 85 because sometimes um if I wear my jeans, I I have some jeans that are um sitting right right there on the hip. 
and if I need, so this for example, are a little bit like high waist, a little bit high waist pants. And then I have the very high waist pants or the dress that you might want to wear it right sitting on the very, very small of your waist. So that worked out for me. So right here, I still have one hole left if for when I'm going higher. And then this moves once I cut this bad boy right here. I can put that all the way at the end and then it makes for a pretty belt. Um, I wear belts a lot, so I know I am going to wear the hell out of this belt. I wear belts all the time with pants, um, with dresses and things of that nature. So what did I pay for this item? Um, the belt was the one thing uh, that did not have a price difference. So I paid $5.30, which is the same price that you would find if you were buying this from Gucci and Nordstrom and Neiman Marcus. But where I saved was on the taxes. So why it has like a four point something percent tax, I cannot remember. But um, if I bought this in the US or in the mainland, I would have paid $43.73 for the tax. I checked this, I did it online so I could have the right numbers, but I paid $18, I'm sorry, I paid $24.19, let me do that again. I paid $24.98 taxes on this belt. I would have paid $43.73 taxes if I bought this in the US, so I saved about $18.75, okay? That's lunch. That is the lunch that I had today, so... Thank you, Hawaii, for my lunch. You took all my money, though. So, <laughs> all right. The next thing, right? Actually, you really need help. Please help me, guys. Please help me. I have always wanted the Gucci Dionysus bag, okay? But you know what Gucci went and did to us? They decided to make another one at another size for just about the same price. I really thought these were the exact same price, but when I went online and I noticed that there's about $100 disparity um, in the price that they're selling it for, but it comes in this big box. I believe this is the big one. So I've always wanted this bag. I've always wanted it because I felt like it was so classic. You know, I really felt like it was so classic. This box is so pretty, but it comes in this huge box so heavy oh my god my handsome boyfriend carried this through the airport and i travel and it did not seem fun when i held it for a bit i just was like mm, you take it back <laughs> same dust bag very heavy this bag is definitely heavy the heaviest bag that i probably own i actually think i have like a michael course that's pretty heavy i'm opening this for the first time since i got it y'all i actually Got like a brand, brand new one in the back, like most of us want. So I'm hoping this is the first time. It has not been opened. I'm happy to have to tear up all the things that come with it. And it has another dust bag again after the pretty one. But y'all know what this looks like. Oh, I can't believe I finally bought this bag. It is so cute. I feel like I'm gonna cheat on all my other purses for a long time. It, they're not gonna be happy, okay? I'm just gonna slide this off. Oh, how beautiful is this baby? So this is the Dynasis in the medium. I don't even know why they call this medium. This thing is huge. Um, so it has the leather right there. Oh, such a gorgeous bag. Just absolutely beautiful just ah, so beautiful i can't wait to hold you you are mine the stitching is quite all over the place like these designer purses or something i don't know why i think they they purposely make the stitching weird maybe to make it different from the guys who might want to duplicate them or replicate them sorry is the right word but there's like some weird stitching here i guess when you really look at it, it's quite strange. But here's my Dionysus. Oh, so many openings. That is what I love about this bag. All my top shelf like designer bags, I don't I don't own like anyone that is this big. And I find myself holding my purses only for like dinner, 
nighttime activity. Maybe that's also me. And I just feel like they only are meant. But I feel like I wanted a bag that I could just hold all the time and just throw around. And this was so perfect because of the fabric. And then it was nude. I did not want it in black. I was I almost got convinced to get it in a black with the black color here. But I own so many black purses. I just got another black and brown purse. So I'm so glad that I got this one. It feels so secure. Then you have the chain. The reason why I'm not gonna take everything off, guys, I explain to you when you see the next bag. I haven't made a decision which one I am keeping. I couldn't decide in the store, so I just bought both. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. But yeah, just just the run of the mill, you know. Two openings right there. And then you've got the zipper. Then I guess they have all the like um gucci i don't know what's gucci's authentication cards i guess they don't really have any compared to like ysl um but everything is right there they give you something like this and then you have books and god knows what is in here who even reads any of this one is so. but yeah that's that just gorgeous i mean it's, i don't feel like taking the chain off they'll still take it back I even mean, if i take it off from here but I am not in a mood to take everything off and wrap it up. And I'm just trying to make life easy for people who work there. Um, but I bet they still expect it when you return it. I can totally see how people like, people could still hold this before they return it, huh? I was told I have 15 days to make a return or an exchange. So um, I don't know how they make sure people don't like gallivant with this i wouldn't even risk it but some people are very courageous you know <laughs> they would do some pretty shady shit i wouldn't even risk like taking this out in case i damaged it and they don't take it back it's quite an expensive purchase so what did i pay for this so this sells this item right here the medium then when i look this up um it sells for two thousand six hundred and fifty dollars and the tax on it would be 218 bucks for this beauty and in hawaii i paid 2295 so and then the tax that i paid on this was 108 dollars and 14 cents so in total i saved 365 dollars and 49 cents that was my flight ticket to hawaii so yeah I bought my purse with that. <laughs> I was so happy that I was able to do this because I saved some money and I would have bought this in the mainland either way. I'd be eyeing this bag and I told myself I was going to purchase this for my birthday. So being able to save almost 400 bucks to me, that is a good purchase. And anyone going to Hawaii, please let me know so you can buy me some purses. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, this is this gorgeous bag, absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to hold it. Um, it feels very safe, very secure. I can see myself giving this to my daughter one day when she starts college, cause you know, mommy have money. <laughs> I can't wait to like hand this down. Um, it looks like something that would survive its wear and tear, like most bags at the bottom here. So this is a structured bag that would sit on its own. I would really think that's where I would start seeing the peeling happening will be at the bottom here on in the corners, but these things hold their own, okay? They, they, they have a life and they know how to hold their own. Um, I've had an LV bag for a few years. I guess compared to others, it's not that long. I've had it for about three years now. And boy, do I maltreat that bag. It definitely has its scratches and all whatnot, but the canvas is still holding on. So these canvas bags can, can take you a long way. Okay, honey, they will take you. So, same bag. <laughs> That's so boring. I have another box, same bag, a little smaller, a little lighter, definitely lighter. Why do they have to do this to us, okay? I, I don't get it. These designers just have a way of getting you. Do you know how I know they're gonna get me? Do you know what I know I'm gonna do? I'm gonna purchase this bag in a different color. That's what I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna return one of these, because I, I can't afford to keep the same bag because of a small difference. But I'm gonna get one of the other, whichever one I keep. 
I'm gonna get the other, okay, in a different color, because it's criminal what they did. It's absolutely criminal. So this is considered the small, but honestly, I'm trying to find like the, the equivalent of it on like online. It's really confusing, but look at this beauty. Look at those crystals, y'all. Look at that. That is what is so attractive. These people, all they did was to go ahead and add some crystals, made it into a smaller size, and sold it to us at the same price, and made it hard to make a decision as to what you would like to do for someone like myself who cannot make their mind up. She is so beautiful. She is so petite. She is so perfect. She goes cross-bodied. So that's another thing with the bigger medium diagnosis is that the handle ends just about waist length. <sighs> this bad boy will do you a good cross body. I cannot make up my mind. Um, another difference is as well on the inside. So same clasps, close to everything. And on this one, you also get that like front back space that you get on the other one. This is not a good, like, this is not a review. This is just an unboxing, okay, guys? <laughs> so many people have great reviews on this bags on YouTube. I watched plenty, but it's just the one compartment. It's just the one. It's just the one is giving me my YSL bag, you know, it's giving me that very justifiably so. But boy, is it hard not to look at these crystals. Is it hard not to want the crystals? It's very, very, very difficult. I am having a huge dilemma right now with this decision. I really am. I know it's just a bag, but boy, I'm sitting here like, mm, my 15 days, plus I wanna hold this bag tomorrow. I'm going out, it's the weekend, my birthday is still on, we're still celebrating, and I just bought a new bag. It cannot sit in my closet. It has to be worn. She has to go about town. I'm probably gonna go to a nice dinner or something of that nature. And you know, we gotta, we gotta show the bag off. We gotta show the bag off. Why aren't you clasping bag? But let me put these two side by side. Maybe y'all can help me. I'm gonna post this video right away. The one or two people who ever watch my channel, please help you, girl. How would you decide, guys? Like, this is hard. Like, the decisions shouldn't be so hard. This is bigger. You know, I will know I want a bigger bag. This is heavier. Lord have mercy, this is heavy. This does not go cross body and it doesn't have a crystal. That's it. To me, like if they put the crystals on here, I would get, this would not be a question. Like, what? What am I looking at this tiny thing for? But they know what they did. They know what they did. This one is still the one that I wanted. But <sighs> crystals, you know? I mean, it's so pretty. It's hard. They're both so beautiful. Same exact bag. Just one has some bling. The other doesn't have bling. They both are snakes, things that my mom's probably going to think it's Medusa or something. But one just has crystals. It's so hard. It's such a hard decision. I don't know what to do. Maybe you guys can help me make a decision. That would be absolutely nice. All right, guys. That was it. So let me know which one you think I should keep. Right now, I have... 12 days from my purchase date to decide to keep one of these. I need to make a decision. I cannot keep both, but I definitely know that I will be purchasing whichever one in a different color that I do not keep at a later time. I absolutely love this canvas. I think it's one of the best canvases that Gucci has. Better than my more month for sure. Absolutely love it. I'm so excited to have joined the family. So y'all help me out. Help your girl out, okay? <laughs> See you next time.